the Starship Enterprise is ready to rocket into another season of intergalactic adventures, and fan favorite Captain Christopher Pike will be leading the charge once again. Allow us to show you everything we know about Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 3. Lights, camera, action. Star Trek Strange New World Season 3 production resumes. After some frustrating delays caused by strikes disrupting Hollywood, the Enterprise has finally cleared space dock and resumed its five-year mission. Production on the third season boldly blasted off in early December at the Toronto studios. Director Jordan Canning, who helmed the hilarious season two highlight charades, recently treated fans to an atmospheric sneak peek from the ship's interior sets. The photo shows those iconic corridors bathed in moody lighting and ready for new voyages. Canning poetically called it the calm before the storm, hinting at the exciting missions ahead. Now it is great to see the Strange New World's cast and crew back in action after the long break. Something tells us the coming episodes will be out of this world. Speaking of episodes, we have learned that Canning is once again climbing into the director's chair, this time for episode 302. In fact, she just announced wrapping production on that episode. Canning said that, That's a wrap on 302, and I'm missing it already. Didn't think I could possibly love this show, this cast, and this crew more than I already did. Can't wait to share our truly epic episode when it's all done. So even though details are still top secret, it is clear our favorite retro Starfleet crew is venturing into uncharted territory in Season 3. So let's take a look at who is returning to duty for Season 3. Meet the cast returning for Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 3. Of course, anchoring the crew as the steadfast Captain Pike is actor Anson Mount, reprising his fan favorite role from Star Trek Discovery. Pike quickly became a breakout character when he crossed over to Strange New Worlds thanks to Mount's charismatic screen presence. Audiences may also remember him from shows like Hell on Wheels, and the 2002 Britney Spears drama Crossroads. Yes, really. Playing the logical science officer Spock is actor Ethan Peck, also crossing over from Discovery. With those famously pointed ears, Peck effortlessly stepped into the role of the Enterprise's half-Vulcan officer. Sci-fi fans may recognize Peck from shows like Madam Secretary and 10 Things I Hate About You. The no-nonsense security chief La'an Noonien Singh is brought to life by English actor Christina Chong, whose credits include Johnny English Reborn and the recent Tom and Jerry film. She is joined by navigator Erica Ortegas, played by Melissa Navia of Homeland and Billions fame. And let's not forget number one, Pike's fiercely capable second-in-command, played by former X-Men star Rebecca Romaine. To me, though, she will always, first and foremost, be the hilarious, smelly cat singer Cheryl on Friends. Other returning crew members include Chief Medical Officer Dr. Mbanga, Babs Alusan Mokin, Communications Trainee Ahura, Celia Rose Gooding, and Head Nurse Christine Chapel, Jess Bush. And joining the cast last season was Scotty himself, Montgomery Scott, played by Martin Quinn. Now, this brilliant ensemble has boldly taken these classic characters to new heights. And with space still left to explore in Season 3, fans are eager to see them continue venturing into the unknown. Who knows what new life forms, mysteries, and adventures await them in the final frontier? One thing is for sure though, this crew handles it all with heart and humor. But keep watching as we have more theories on what we expect from the plot of Season 3 on Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 3. Battelle survives the Gorn attack, but the threat remains. Captain Battelle looked like a goner after being infected by Gorn eggs in Strange New World Season 2. No one has survived that before as we saw it with Lieutenant Hemmer's sad death. But killing Battelle now would be predictable, and it seems wasteful to keep her alive this long only to kill her right away in Season 3. Also, her survival was left in Nurse Chapel's capable hands, and Chapel has to find a way to pull Battelle through. While Battelle isn't around later when Pike is disfigured, it would disappoint fans to kill her off so soon after developing her relationship with Pike. Battelle was the captain of the USS Cayuga before it was destroyed by the Gorn. Even if she survives the infection, the Gorn remain a huge threat that needs to be dealt with. You won't believe how the crew handles this menace, so keep watching. The Gorn are defeated, but new threats emerge. The Gorn have been the main villains since Season 1, but Season 3 should mark their defeat, at least for now. 
Strange New Worlds has made the Gorn into vicious killers, a truly fearsome enemy. However, that threat can't continue indefinitely without getting old, so hopefully a new villain rises in Season 3 after the Gorn are beaten back. Then the Gorn can return later in the original series. Now, it's always exciting to see new threats emerge in Star Trek shows. While the Gorn were a great adversary, the writers need to keep things fresh. And I personally can't wait to see what new enemy comes after the Gorn are finally defeated. It will lead to amazing new stories. Enterprise gains new crew, but risks linger. Scotty joining the Enterprise engineering team was a great surprise in the Season 2 finale. We get another link to Kirk's future crew from the original series. Hopefully, Scotty sticks around, though. It's too soon to make him chief engineer over Command Apelia. Apelia is a fascinating character, so she shouldn't die just to promote Scotty. He can learn under her for now. We may also see Dr. Carol Marcus, Kirk's pregnant girlfriend, appear, and meet Leon Noonien Singh. That promises drama with Kirk and Leon's budding romance. Plus, Nurse Chapel should begin her relationship with Dr. Roger Corby, her fiancé, according to canon. Lots of exciting crew developments. But risks linger too. Dr. Mbanga murdered a Klingon ambassador, but managed to cover it up. If Starfleet finds out, it could jeopardize the whole Enterprise crew. And we still need to resolve the Cybok storyline from Season 1. He and Angel remain a threat to Spock and the ship. So stay tuned as you won't believe how all of these storylines wrap up. You don't want to miss on the next big thing we know on the new series as it is an exciting development. A strange new rock. You won't believe what NASA's Mars rover just discovered. The Curiosity rover recently spotted a fascinating rock formation that has Star Trek fans bursting with excitement. But keep watching because the story is truly out of this world. While scanning images on the surface of Mars, eagle-eyed social media users noticed a rock formation that bears an uncanny resemblance to Starfleet's iconic Delta emblem. Holy spaceships, Batman! This is the kind of crazy coincidence that would make even Spock raise an eyebrow. NASA confirmed that some enthusiastic Trekkies on the Curiosity team were over the moon when they caught the sight of this oddly shaped stone, and who can blame them? It's like Disney World for die-hard Star Trek nerds. In the world of Star Trek, the Delta emblem is proudly displayed on the uniforms of Starfleet officers. It symbolizes the unity and scientific exploration that are central to their mission. And now here it is, carved into the harsh Martian landscape over 175 million miles away. It makes you wonder if a rogue Starfleet officer got stranded on the Red Planet sometime in the distant future. I mean, hey, a Trekkie can dream, right? Now, of course, in reality, this is probably just an odd rock formation that happens to resemble something familiar to us Earthlings. But you've got to admit, it is a crazy coincidence that sparks the imagination. Trekkies can't help but feel energized by little winks from the final frontier like this one. Now, NASA has embraced sci-fi fandom before, with fun references to shows like The Orville. So it is no surprise that they would get a kick out of this unexpected Star Trek cameo on Mars. And during a bit of a dry spell for new Star Trek content, it is a welcome treat for fans. With Strange New Worlds not being on our screens until 2025, this intrepid rock gives us all something to nerd out about. It already has me speculating about what alien surprises might be uncovered in the future Star Trek Strange New Worlds episodes. And who knows what other sci-fi treasures lie hidden under the sands of Mars, just waiting to be unearthed. Now, as the fans were not left behind, one fan said it would be a slap in the face for Strange New Worlds not to last longer than Discovery. And another Trekkie had to say, I like SNW too, but I have to wonder if the ratings numbers are skewed by a lot of folks waiting until the end of the season to start watching it. When so many shows start getting canceled years ago, I decided to just record them and wait until there was a show finale. If I really liked the show, I'd watch at the end of each season instead of waiting for the end of the show. It seems that none of the studios know how to work well with online streaming and they hire new people that may be passionate about the work, but not very talented. They no longer have a year or two to find out if they hired the wrong person. The wait is getting long, but as we keep waiting for Season 3, you should go check out Star Trek Discovery Season 5 trailer with Mary Wiseman. It's pretty intense.